Hey guys, welcome to my PlayStation 3 news for November 5th. Now to jump right into it, as you all know, following Killzone 2, you know they're going on about their unique uh, cover system called Lean and Peak, using the PS3's motion sensing and everything. Well, they've come out and they've said that there will be no cover system in the multiplayer. No Lean and Peak. And they said they've tried it multiple ways, multiple times. And they said it actually works against the user and make it less fun. And basically it's because they said in a single player, it's a pretty linear single player. And they said that the the the, the fighting is mainly ahead of you. So that it's very easy to use the cover system. But they said the, the multiplayer is like a 360 battle, 360 degree battle. And think Call of Duty 4. Because they said the arenas, you know, they're, they're like, the arenas you battle in, the enemies can attack you from behind, on the side you know in front so if you're stuck in cover it's going to be bad for you you know because you're going to be just popped off and killed easily so it's not a bad thing and actually will actually be better and also it's EA for the people who love uh, mercenaries franchise mercenaries 2 and everything you'll probably be happy to know that EA CEO has promised the investors that there will be a mercenaries 3 that's all that has been stated there's been no word if the same developers gonna make it or what but they did promise the mercenaries 3 and this is some very surprising news to my, you know, to me, which is Sony has patented a new motion sensing controller. All right. Now, the patent offices have announced that or have said that news that Sony's patented it. And it's to use a combination of image and audio data to calculate the user's three dimensional position in front of the display. Which is some pretty advanced stuff, but also what's very interesting about it, it if if you read up on it, it kind of sounds like the Wii's nunchucks, but very different, like it wouldn't be. In a sense that it, they said that the controller can be configured and moved and put together in multiple ways to actually like form like a sword or a wand or, or a steering wheel or joystick or something like that. So each game will actually have its own controller in a way and also what's very unique about it is that they said the button plates you know for the buttons are actually be movable it would be extremely customizable as they're saying which which i find very interesting but remember this is just a patent which means it's probably still in the experimental stages so there's no guarantee it would ever be released and you know and they said if it does get released it looks like it would be in the ps3's lifetime so it would be for the ps3 but that's all they've had to say on that. And also for the people enjoying Little Big Planet, you'd be glad to hear that uh, Media Molecule has announced downloadable content for Little Big Planet, which will be happening November 6th, this uh, week's update, which will be a spacesuit and a Halloween mask for free. Uh, but they have stated more, su uh, basically, suits of downloadable content will be on the way within the next following months. Uh, one would be that solid snake suit, which looks really badass. But they did state that not all of it will be free. That most suits will cost you a buck ninety nine or so. And also another very interesting news or a turn in what Sony's doing is Sony and Universal uh, Universal Studios is creating a PS3 game vending machine. Uh, I mean, I know that might sound real crazy at first, but just, like hear this out. Is they said it's supposed to dispense PS3 games, Blu-ray movies, and DVDs. Now. Basically, they're saying that it's like for people who can't, who have odd hours or, or maybe you just can't make the hours of stores or something like that. Basically, the vending machines will be popping up all over the place and you'll be able to go out all hours of the day, day and night, any day, including holidays, to get these new PS3 games. And they will have brand new movies and brand new PS3, PS3 games on the day they release. But it looks like it's an experimental, or the testing stages, I like to say, because right now it's only going to be for the UK and I'm guessing they're just going to test it in the UK and if it goes over very well they're expanded over to Australia and like North America markets but they have not had an exact release date so any of you guys and my subscribers in UK you know keep an eye out for it let me know if you see any they said it's gonna be popping up you know in gyms in uh, movie theaters and in other places like that so you know probably within the next few months you should keep an eye out for it also alone in the dark if you have not tried it don't let the early reviews fool you on it. Try the demo. I've been playing like crazy. They really updated all the tech issues for it. It really is good. It has been dated for Europe for November 14th. 
Uh, that's basically news for it now. There's not been a release date set for North America yet. I don't know why, but right now, Europe, North uh, November 14th. Also, they're talking about future multi-platform titles are going to be using the PS3 as a lead platform, which I am extremely happy about because, as you all have seen too many times, of using the 360 or PC as the lead platform have totally screwed the PS3's owners over with the games. Most recently, Fallout 3. A lot of people have asked me why I get the Fallout 3. Well, not anymore I, I, right now. I'm waiting until they fix the technical issues with it, releasing a patch till I get Fallout 3. Because as you all know, it's the worst version of the 3. And mainly it's because they use the 360 as a lead platform, which totally screwed us over because it has a bunch of graphical problems, has a ton of technical issues, and the technical issues are pretty severe where it frees your PS3 up where you have to hard start your whole PS3. And that's just complete BS. And uh, the opposite of that, though, the advantage is you look at Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge is using the PS3 as a lead platform. That game just looks gorgeous. It runs extremely smooth. And it's it's just taking advantage of both systems. So it actually uh, will help everybody out. So I'm glad to hear that. And also the people who are interested in Rise of the Argonauts. You might be upset to hear that they have delayed the game. There's no new date. Uh, but they do, did promise that it will arrive before Christmas. So, you know, I'll keep you up to date on that. Just keep, you know, listening, check out my videos. And also the people enjoying Bioshock right now. They have dated the exclusive content that they were talking about with the challenge rooms. And they've priced them. The challenge rooms will be arriving on the PlayStation Network November 20th, and the pack of challenge rooms will cost $9.99 in the USA. But no date or price has been set for the European market. You know, I'll keep you updated on that when they do price it. Also, some big news from Metal Gear Online. Metal Gear Online has topped 1 million members, which is a really big milestone for them. And to celebrate that, they will be running an in-game promotion dubbed Metal Gear Online Commemorative Campaign. And that's going to run from November 25th to December 9th. All right, and if you play between November 25th and December 9th, you will be rewarded with 10,000 reward points, just out of the blue on December 10th, right after the the uh, promotion has ended. Which is something I'm going to do because you know that that's a lot of reward points you can use in that reward shop. Also, uh, I know I talked about it before, but the people who do get Fallout 3, you will, and you do like trophies, you will be happy to know that Bethesda has uh, stated that they are working on trophies right now. No release date for it, but uh, they're working on trophy patch. And I'm guessing no release date because they're probably putting most of their energy toward fixing those tech issues. A lot of people are really upset about that. Bethesda, you were on, you know, you really pissed me off with what you did with Fallout 3, making the PS3 version the worst. I don't know why you did that. Uh, also, if the people who turned on their PS3 yesterday, you might have noticed that we have a brand new firmware update and it's mainly a stability update nothing really major it has nothing to do with home so don't go jumping to conclusions about that but it's basically the playback quality for ps3 format has been improved and also it's fixed a major issue a lot of people had complaints about which is a text entry issue that occurs when using an on-screen keyboard or a usb keyboard or a bluetooth keyboard with some of the ps3 format that has been fixed which is good, you know, good to hear that they're keeping on top of all the things people want fixed on the PS3. But that's what's been going on so far. You know, uh, subscribe, rate, comment. Let me know what you think of anything I talked about. Give me your opinion. It's always good to hear feedback from my fans. All right, and I'll catch you guys hopefully within a week. Uh, all right, so take it easy. Peace.